All right, today's video is going to be real short. Um, I apologize for this. Uh, I just woke up. It's like one o'clock. Not too good at this whole thing. But anyways, I'm going to be cleaning my truck today. This is something I need to do. It probably won't be time lapsed or won't be on camera just for convenience sake, but you will probably see the before and after of everything. I got some stuff down in here. This is dirty. I got stuff back here. I need to vacuum it. I got some electrical stuff. Uh, yeah, I just, it's just really needing a cleaning. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. Also, I did finish getting this down. Or me and my dad got this down. Um, it's currently all back there on the ground. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, we got that down. We've got most of the important stuff out from right here that need, need to be out the weather. Three wheelers over there. It's just under the tarp. We haven't got a chance to put it somewhere, so it's just sitting out here under two tarps, actually. Yeah, it's out here under this one and this. But yeah, so I'm going to get to cleaning my truck. Today's going to be a real short day because I did tell someone that I'd help them. I told someone that I'd help them work on their truck and... We looked into it, and it's going to be a real big project. Basically, for his truck, what we got to do is his heater core is not working. So, if you turn it to heater, it doesn't get hot. Or, it will get hot, and water will start pouring out from under the dash. How it works is, whenever you turn the heater on, water is recirculated through a heater core behind the dash that heats up. And that's where you get your warm air from. It comes all off that. Yeah, his is leaking. Yeah, we're going to have to go over all that. And everything's got to come out, basically. Especially in that truck. That's, uh... it's Well, this is a 1995. This one's a lot easier. This one's just up and underneath the passenger side right there. But his truck is a 2009 F-150. And here, actually, for a little bit of a better comparison... We have an 04 right here, which is a little bit closer body style to that. Basically, everything has to come out. It's like this one a little bit. It's more closely related to this than mine. But everything has to come out. The entire dash has to come off. The center console has to move. The two seats probably are going to have to move. Um, two front seats. And steering column is going to come off the dash. And there's a lot of connectors. And uh, yeah. But I told him I'd help. So I'm going to try to go ahead and get this video out of the way. I am about to start on this. So, yeah, it's probably going to be like instantaneous for you guys. But I'm going to cut the video off and clean it and then pick it back up. So, yeah. Oh, my thumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, anyways. There's my helmet. Okay. Well, next time you see it, it's going to be clean. I want to show you guys something. I started this not thinking it was going to be too bad. Because I haven't drove this truck in a while. There's no way it could be too, too dirty. Um, yeah. I was wrong. Look at all this. This is just behind one seat. And I already have a bag full of garbage. I thought I was getting somewhere. No. Dear Lord. Well, it's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Anyways... I'm going to pick it back up when I'm done. All right, so this is where I'm at now. I got like a, I got my flashlight looking at me, but this is where I'm at now. I've gotten a good bit done with this truck, but it's going to have to finish in tomorrow's vlog. Um, You could probably see a little bit. I got a lot of stuff just piled in it at the moment, but let me start my flashlight. I have vacuumed, like all this was from what was behind the seats, here, let's see, all this is from what was behind the seats, all that's clean now, um, I have wires I have to put back, I have all this stuff I gotta find a place for, but as you may be able to tell, it's been vacuumed to the best of my ability without scrubbing. Uh, here, I'll go to the other side. Yeah. Oh, this is bright. But yeah, this is all I'm going to be able to do in today's vlog. It's going to be really short. I do apologize, but I just didn't have the time today. So I've been 
working on not this truck but another truck that someone had I was helping them and that involved taking the whole dash out and everything but anyways this is a lot cleaner than what it was so I do have these cables back here I need to kind of wire and route up that'll be in tomorrow's video um yeah I, I keep saying um and I don't like it that's gonna be it for today um this is a really really short one I don't like them short I like to be able to have time and actually okay this is too bright I like to be able to have time and actually show what I'm doing and how I'm doing it what I was getting done but today I didn't get the chance so like I said I do apologize I will show you guys the progress on this truck tomorrow and we still got the vacuum out maybe one day do the bed but right now the inside um yeah again this is it this is what I got so far all this junk the stuff I'll go through this is what stuff I found in the truck so yeah that'll be in all tomorrow's vlog or episode or whatever you want to call it yeah thanks for watching and yeah, we are on day five this is v-duck number five didn't actually expect to make it this far actually i don't know if this video will make it up in time <laughs> it's already it's already 6 38 and i still have some other things i gotta do so we'll see we'll see but yeah appreciate you for watching and have a good rest of your day night whatever you're having hope it's good